Hey, Heritage Landing, Elisa Cromaldi here again to help you get vocal about social. This time, I wanted to talk to you about the dynamics within the community and how they could be affected with these changes if they go unchecked, okay? And I talked about this earlier. Um, I touched on it, but I wanted to expand upon it, okay? So I would say put yourself in the other person's shoes, right? So I went in to look at property. I went and I looked at some golf properties and they were great, but then I circled back. I looked at the non-golf properties, saw, hey, you know, this is a great deal. I can save all this money. They said I can play as a, as a member guest. I can play as the public, you know, oh, maybe one day they're going to open up the golf course to social only. So no, the public won't be able to play during season, but you know, the members could always vote to allow the social uh, homeowners to play, which is not going to happen, right? Fast forward, you go under contract for a non-golf home. You're all excited. You get all moved in, super excited. You're living that lifestyle, trying to figure out, you know. Hey, Heritage Landing, Elisa Cromaldi here again to help you get vocal about social. And in this episode, we are gonna talk more money talk, but this time it's gonna be about the bottom line. So how do, do all of these changes affect your bottom line? Now, as I mentioned before, many of you watching these videos, don't care about the property values, think it doesn't affect you, um, maybe it's going to affect your heirs, whatever the case may be, you might have an apathetic attitude and say, eh, you know, this is great, but you know, I'm, I'm out. I got other things to do. But before you do that, watch this video. So I want to talk to you about your association fees, right? This is very important. Uh, because you may or may not remember whenever you first purchased your home here at Heritage Landing, you got hit with two fees on your closing statement. You got one for $1,500 to the Heritage Landing Master Association, one for $1,500 to the Heritage Landing Golf Club. So that was the capital contribution. Or every time that a property turns over, meaning a resale, every time that it sells again to the next person, then that new buyer is paying those two fees again. And that's a capital resale contribution. Why is this important? Because if you have all these listings with golf, right, that aren't selling because everybody's coming over here to buy the social, right? Then what does that mean? All these people that are buying the social, so it's the same number of buyers, let's say, these people that are buying social are only paying one contribution, which is to the Heritage Landing Master Association. They are not paying that second one to the Heritage Landing Golf Club. <clears throat> so what does that mean? That money's not going into the kitty for our golf dues. So if you've got all these, all these units, let's say you have 10 properties that sell in, in January, they close in January, 1500 bucks a piece, that's $15,000 into the kitty. Now keep multiplying that. Like how many units turn over every year within Heritage Landing? So that turns out to be a big chunk that gets applied towards the operating cost of the golf club, which helps keep our dues low, right? We're under $2,000 a year right now for our annual golf dues, which is crazy low compared to that, let's say $8,000 that they're charging at Sunseeker per year or 10,000 in Gateway, like wherever it is, um, you know, typically a private club has much, much higher fees. And, you know, this is one of the ways that the economics work within a bundle golf community. So your capital contribution or not yours, the new buyer's capital contribution gets applied towards the total operating cost. And then that helps keeps your fees low. So if the golf properties are not selling, right? If all these people are buying the non-golf properties, then these properties aren't turning over. That's less money going into the association fees, which means you're gonna be paying more year over year, right? So for those of you who think you don't care, it doesn't matter, it's not gonna affect you, it absolutely is. So please do your part, 
be sure to educate everybody. And if you have any questions, don't forget to always ask for Elisa how to get on the golf course. And you quickly come to the realization that all of your new friends um, are not gonna let you on as their member guests because they don't wanna get the extra points on their point system, or you know, you're know you not gonna be able to play as the public. And so now you had like this whole dream built up. You've been waiting to move to Florida, whatever the situation may be, you, know, you were so excited to move into this community and now you're not able to play golf. And so think of how that would feel. Like that would be a super bummer, right? And you know, now you're sitting there thinking, oh no, I shouldn't have done this. You know, what am I gonna do? Because I know like, especially for avid golfers, think of what torture it would be to live in this community and to not be able to play golf, right? And to try to get tee times at these public courses around which is very difficult to do during season, right? So that's another benefit of being having a golf membership is, you know, to be able to play on the course. So think of how those homeowners feel and, you know, just like with any range of emotions, they could be sad, they could be bombed, you know, they could be cool with it, who knows? But, you know, I'm sure at some point they are going to start thinking, Oh, well, I was misled. You know, I was told this, which maybe they were told that, maybe they weren't. Maybe they heard what they wanted, right? And so, you know, it was kind of a mixture of the two. Who knows? But that can very quickly lead to resentment, which can create a toxic environment, right? So now, instead of being bummed out or whatever, now I'm angry and I feel like I've been wronged. And I'm on a mission that I have to share my experience with everybody about, you know, how wrong it was and how, you know, things need to be righted. And I'm only saying this because I've seen this happen, right? For real, this exact situation multiple times where people feel like they were misled. Um, and it's obviously disappointing, but if their emotions get escalated, then now they're going to be... I don't know. They're just going to let their um, their disappointment be known. And then that can create a toxic environment, as you're all aware, right? Like we see it on Facebook sometimes. Like if one nasty comment starts, a whole chain goes, and then it just gets nasty, and it's not a happy place. And so as that happens, then that's going to create discontent within the community. You know, it's going to be like, oh, I don't want to sit around so-and-so because they're just mean and grumpy. And then so now we're getting a division of homeowners, you know, and it's just not the harmonious community that we're used to. You know, many of you guys, like if this is the first community you've lived in in Florida or, um, you know, you're new to this whole Florida home ownership, or even just within a community, you take for granted what an amazing dynamic we have here. And I, you know, I say this with no disrespect to anybody, but previous communities that we've lived in, we've owned in, we've worked in, totally different. You know, the members are all nice, you know, they're, but it's a totally different vibe. Totally, like you can have clicks, you can have nasty people. And, and I'm not saying that stuff doesn't go on at Heritage Landing because of course it does, but by and large, it's harmonious. I mean, how many times do you go into the Tiki Bar and, you know, see a stranger and they're like, hey, hey, you know, everybody's just happy. So happy. It's a great culture. It's amazing. And I would hate to see that change um, because of some misunderstandings that create some discontent because what will happen is if these non-golf homeowners had the expectations in their mind that they're going to be able to get on like oh well you know I heard that the golf members are going to vote next year to leave some spots open for the non-golf and that doesn't happen that could have just been you know a rumor they could have dreamed that up. Somebody could have said that as, you know, oh, well, this could happen, but, you know, not that it would happen, right? So whatever it is, this homeowner over here could have that in their mind 
they will get so angry. They're going to stew over it. And then who do they have to take out that disappointment on but the golf members? Because although nobody ever said, hey, we're going to call a vote and, you know, let the social members in or not, right? Although none of that ever happened in their mind, right? So perception is reality, right? So in their mind, they think that that was a possibility. Next season comes and it doesn't happen. Now they're going to get mad at the golf members who didn't do anything, right? And then they're going to get together with their other friends in the non-golf section that are in the same boat. And they're going to create a whole group of people that are angry. And they're going to direct that over here at the golf members. And then that's going to create a divide. So then there goes our happy heritage landing. And I don't want that to happen. You know, most of all, I don't want any homeowners to come in and be disappointed in their experience, right? But if we, we all have to step back and look at the bigger picture and say, what's the cause? What's the effect? What could happen? You know, and what can we do to prevent that from happening. And that's why we're making these videos, trying to raise this awareness so that everybody is on the same page. You know, it is not malicious at all. It, there is definitely a place for non-golf homes, definitely a place for non-golf or social residents. Absolutely, it's an amazing community. Heritage Landing is awesome. And you know, there are certain people where that is the perfect fit for them. And it's not like we're saying, you should not buy non-golf. You should not live in the non-golf section because that's absolutely false. Uh, it's you should make the right decision for you specifically. And that's just what we're trying to do. We're trying to raise that awareness for everybody um, so that they can make those informed decisions. And, you know, we've seen this happen over 20 years and so many communities throughout Southwest Florida that we've been involved with. We've seen some communities thrive and some communities die, right? And we do not want that to happen at Heritage Landing because we love it here. We really do. So keep watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can keep getting these updated videos as they come along. And don't forget to always ask for Elisa.